Hello! I'm feeling really hyper today because I've had two coffees already because I had to film coffee making content and I didn't want to waste it so I drank it. So here I am. So I've talked about my tips on time management in the past, but today I wanted to dive a little deeper into what deep work means and share a few new methods that I've picked up over the course of this year that really helps me protect my calendar, reclaim my time, and allow me to do more of that deep work that I keep mentioning. So if you guys haven't heard of the term deep work before, deep work defined in the book of the same name by author Cal Newport is the ability to focus without any distractions on a cognitively demanding task. On the flip side, shallow work can be defined as non-cognitively demanding tasks that are more typically logistical style and stuff that you can do while distracted or while like multitasking. This whole idea of being able to turn on your deep work mode or what creatives call getting into the zone, Cal says is like a superpower in today's day and age where anything and everything is constantly fighting for our time, energy, efforts, and attention. So how in the world do you engage in deep work? He says, to learn hard things quickly, you must focus intensely without distraction. He also says, the key to developing a deep work habit is to move beyond good attentions and add routines and rituals to your working life designed to minimize the amount of your limited willpower necessary to transition into and maintain a state of unbroken concentration. I'm not gonna lie, this is still definitely a work in progress for myself. I think that this honestly takes years and years to really master, I think, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, uh, Jeff Bezos, they probably have it down pretty, you know, they've, they've, got, they've got it sorted, they've mastered it. But like anything, I think that it is a constant practice and constant learning process. So today I just wanna share some tips that I have on how I try to create a more focused work environment. And I'm gonna share three tools and techniques that I use to do this. I'm literally kneeling, I'm kneeling right now on the ground so that I can be level with the camera, but I wanted to start the video with a slightly different background because I'm so bored. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so bored at staring at the same desk space, which you're gonna have to look at because I need to go back to my desk to film and like show you guys the tools, but I hope it was a little bit of refreshing. It was honestly kind of refreshing for me just to like be in this different framing. Okay, anyways, let's go. Hello. This is probably the background that you're the most used to on this channel because this is where I sit every day of my life. So I've talked about this in a previous video. I'm gonna link my calendar blocking video up there. It is quite old. I was so young then, but like kudos to me for applying this and have been applying this for so many years. But essentially what time blocking is, is it's a method used by many successful CEOs and business owners such as Elon Musk, Cal Newport, Bill Gates, spot on with my, with my thoughts there, to manage my day-to-day -day schedule. I find that personally, I definitely work better under structure and having things planned out in a schedule leaves the guesswork out and actually allows me to remember and focus on the most important things that I need to get done. However, the problem that I've come across with time blocking is that when you have to share your calendar out to people, for example, if you share your calendar out to your work or to your friends and you're like, hey, look at all the stuff I have to do in a day. If you want me for anything, a meeting, a coffee break, whatever, look at my schedule and schedule it in there. That becomes a problem because you aren't protecting your calendar and when you don't protect and have control over the these short 24 hours that you have in a day, it actually can break you out of your focus moments and the time that you need to spend on deep work. Especially working remotely, I find that you have to stay like engaged and communicative with your team for remote working to work, but there comes to this point where like there needs to be a boundary and people can't just call you without messaging you first. People can't just schedule random meetings into your day and be like, attend this, attend that, we're doing this, we're doing that. So you have to, again, protect your calendar. Editing Angel hopping in because there are some things that I realized that I did not mention while I was filming this portion of the video 
initially so i wanted to make sure that i covered all the bases for you guys the first tool that i found so so helpful when it came to protecting my calendar and protecting my time is bubbles bubbles is the easiest way for you to collaborate with your team no matter how where or when you work from different locations and with different departments and teams that just prefer to have their deep work times in different hours of the day. Bubbles makes it super easy and fun for you to communicate and collaborate with your team, but on your own time. It eliminates the hassle of live meetings and unnecessary calls, which by the way, thank you Bubbles for doing this because that is something that I struggle with so much with my team don't get me wrong i love 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 chatting with my team in our weekly scheduled meetings but when somebody calls me with something trivial in the middle of my deep work sessions it pulls my attention away from what i want to be focusing on and actually makes me less productive and efficient at the end of the day essentially how it works is it allows you to record your screen and what you're working on annotate it comment on it add voiceovers and then share it with your team your team members can then watch watch your Bubbles video on their own time when they are ready to and respond directly within Bubbles so that all of your communication about that piece of work lives in that thread. You can even break off into different threads without ever losing your place and I think that is so so key to making it work for anybody's workflow. It also keeps an archive of all the Bubbles you've ever created so just in case you need to go back and refer to anything your teammates have mentioned in the past about that specific piece of project or work. all they for you in a neat workspace. This is such a revolutionary way to eliminate those pesky slack threads that always get lost, unnecessary calls and live meetings throughout your day, and trying to balance your calendar and manage it across different time zones. My favorite things about Bubble is that it's super easy and intuitive to use. It literally lives right on your browser. There's no onboarding involved. All you have to do is hit record and send away your Bubble. I love that it helps eliminate unnecessary meetings. I've said that so many times, but it is so, so, so key, I find, when it comes to managing my own workflow. And it's just the perfect tool to share anything that you need to share visually so that your team can collaborate on it. And of course, I have to mention that it is free. It is free for all teams with no limits to usage or special features that you need to unlock. It is 100% just ready to go free of charge for you and your team to adapt. And it has been so, so helpful to my workflow. If you guys are interested in trying Bubbles for yourself, the link will be in the description box below. Super excited to be sharing this new tool that I've added to my workflow. And I think that if you are in the creative industry, the marketing industry, development, whatever it is, it's going to be a great tool to add to your tool belt so that you can create more opportunity for yourself to enter deep work. All right, back to the original video, Angel. Another tool that I've discovered which allows me to protect my calendar, I'm gonna repeat that so many times in this video, is the tool Reclaim.ai. Reclaim essentially helps you kind of automate your time blocking and calendar blocking process. It is insane how cool this tool is because it essentially gives you this little like virtual assistant that helps you move things around and schedule things throughout your day. Reclaim integrates seamlessly with Google Calendar and it helps you do stuff like auto block your tasks and your routines. It helps you get more flexibility out of your schedule. It gives you some reporting and some insights to show you where your time is going week by week. And it even has the functionality to let you reprioritize your entire calendar super, super easily, like literally probably just with one click. Can I go through a productivity slash time management video without mentioning Notion? I really don't think I can. You guys know I've essentially put my entire life into my Notion and it really does help me a lot when it comes to prioritizing my work so that I know exactly what is important and I know what I need to spend that deep work time doing. I just absolutely love Notion for the fact that you have 
all of these different types of views, organization tools and features that allows you to build out pretty much exactly what you need in a system to help manage your tasks. I did make an entire separate video on my Notion, which I will link up above. If you guys want an updated Notion tour, let me know. I mean, the structure of it is generally the same, but I have updated a couple of things, so yeah, let me know. Notion is where I actually go and I enter all of my tasks, including the metadata of those tasks, so like what category it belongs to, what projects they belong to, whether they're paid projects, how much am I getting paid, what are the due dates, what's the time frame, who's involved. I collect all of that information into my Notion so that when it comes time to do that task, I have all of the information that I need and I don't need to search around in my emails and my documents across the web just to find it. Even when I'm filming a video like this one, I make sure that I take as many notes as I can. I watch the videos, I link the videos, I embed the videos. I save inspiration, I create mood boards, I create a shot list. I just try to make sure that before I even start on a project, I have all the information, everything I need for that project within my Notion task. And I find that that really helps me get into that deep work as well because I don't get distracted with having to find the information that I need to complete the task. I did create some Notion templates on like video planning, project planning, as well as things like book reports and summaries. So I'm gonna go ahead and share those in the description box for you guys. I know you guys really liked my Notion templates last time, so feel free to go and take a look there. If you guys wanna try out Notion for yourself, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. The same with all the other tools, Bubbles and Reclaim as well. All of their links will be in the description box below. I will type up a little blurb and remind you guys exactly what it is and what I use it for. But these three tools really have become my go-to tools for kind of like honing my schedule and my workday. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Have you read the book Deep Work by Cal Newport? I actually haven't even read it. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I've heard so many people talk about it. Like I've read book summaries about it, book reports about it, cliff notes about it that I feel like I've read the book already, but I'm still probably gonna order it and add it to my bookshelf and read it at some point just so I can really kind of like get the full gist of everything that the author wants to portray. Huge thanks to Bubbles for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna try out Bubbles for yourself, I've been using it with my team already and it is awesome. Awesome, why didn't this exist in my life before? Seriously. But I will put all the links, all the information in the description box below. It's free and it's awesome like seriously there's no reason why you shouldn't go try it and if you do let me know what you guys think of it in the comment box down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button and i think that's it i hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and i will see you in my next video i really want another coffee but i know i shouldn't have one because i'm already talking so fast but okay anyways bye